Shanti, how does a person differentiate their pain? The physical pain is felt, but how do you tell the difference between real physical pain and chronic pain that may come from the mind? Yes. Okay. There is a difference between pain and suffering. Pain is inevitable for everyone. Everyone. Like uh, all the philosopher and uh, spiritual masters say, birth is suffering, living is suffering, death is suffering, everything is suffering. We don't see it. This is why we get interested in life and feel pleasure but ignore pain. So that is one aspect. Pain is inevitable. Suffering is mentally modifying it. It's suffering. So suppose going to dentist, you get treatment, you get a little pain. But the thought of going to dentist would produce artificial suffering. So pain is magnified by suffering. Okay. Pain again, resistance makes it worse. Any pain is there, but when we resist it becomes worse. So suppose somebody has cancer, is in dying. The spiritual approach is just endure it with smiling face. Because sooner, whether you accept it or not, is going to take place. But when you accept it, it becomes worse. I mean, uh, accept it becomes better. But when you resist, it becomes worse. Simplest example would be heat and cold. We can relate. It's very hot, you know, outside. But you tune into the mentally to the heat. So you can deal with it much better. There are, and then if you have cold weather, you deal with it. So when you are in harmony with outside environment, you don't feel the shock. Same way, mentally we are prepared and flow with any environment, then we can flow much easily. But we are stubborn, very stiff. Like this is the way it would be, we produce resistance. So many times, healing takes place by acceptance. By acceptance, we allow to re rejuvenate our healing energy. So energy flows through our being. Healing is not done by doctors or medicine, by surgery. Healing is done by prana. Medicine does is allows the prana to flow. Surgery allows the prana to flow by removing obstruction. So healing is done by prana. If a patient is very weak, surgeon won't perform surgery because body has to have resistance. So really prana is important thing. So when we accept, the things flow much better. But people are programmed and told from childhood and so just pain, pain, right or wrong. So real meditation is to pre prepare to be an observer, that we are observer. Pleasure and pain are transitory. So spiritual mental equilibrium called samatha in Buddhist philosophy, sthita pragna state in yoga, or Western term spiritual maturity. Spiritual maturity is you maintain equilibrium in pleasure and pain, heat and cold, honor and insult, gain and loss. Spiritual maturity, similar to grandfather or grandmother. Children are fighting for the toys and they cry like it really something was lost. Grand or they fight with each other, I won't talk to you again. Grandfather or grandmother, they so observe, they know this is temporary, it will go away and they remain cool. That is maturity. So the same way we cultivate maturity. So we can handle pleasure, uh, ple uh, all the situation. But pain is inevitable. And uh, in uh, one video and also on Facebook I put, uh, the karma, that is um, karma, and then it has effect. 
the, that karma is stored and gives re result in the future is called prarabdha. Prarabdha means fate or predestination. So we have control over what we do, but we don't have control over outcome. So prarabdha means no matter how much we work, but what we had done in previous years or previous life comes as a result. That is called prarabdha. And many times suffering comes as a result of prarabdha. So even if you live good life, but something you did in childhood or even previous life comes as a result. Sometimes people have a different genetics. They inherit different genes from the parents. Where they inherit those genes because of their karma in this life. So really, ultimately we have to accept whatever comes. What we can do is don't produce new karma. We produce karma with desires, likes and dislikes. So if you don't have strong likes and dislikes, even if you are doing, you are not doing. You are talking, you are not talking. Because it doesn't produce results. The seeds which are roasted, they won't produce any plants. So by roasting the seeds means letting go of feeling that I'm doing. All the problems come from doing and separation. Pain again is separation. I and pain is separate. We identify with pain. There is no pain. Okay. Thank you, Shanti. Mm.